ไอ้ฮันดะอิรัมดัมซนาเรปาตมะนิปูร์ดะกิปอกปะมะปามะปูร์ดะกิปอกปะเดลีดะปอกปะเรกะซูมะปามะปูกินอกพมตาบุไว
even the Manipuri Brahmins worship Sanamahi in their houses. Our house are the place of worship because we have Lemuril Siddhapi and Sanamahi in our houses. When you burn a Manipuri house, you also burn a place of worship. Do not forget this. And we have not spoken like this before. When we say that let's live together with peace and harmony, it is not our weakness. It is not timidity to call for peace. When we say stop this violence and we want peace. And some people think this is a sign of timidity. This is a sign of defeatist attitude. It is not. Because we understand at the end of the day, you have to live. You can't have wars and war and war and war all the time. We know that future. We are not consumed by the presence. Now this is another thing that we also know as a second part of what I want to communicate. Do not blame the cookies as a community. It is the politics and the players, their elites, who have put the lives of the innocent citizens of the cookies as well as the mitre is at stake. And do not, therefore, blame the cookie as a community. Blame the elites, the politics of hatred, which they have unrest in a peaceful state like Manipur. Please do not forget this. The other aspect, you must also critically ask this question. Why is that the Indian state, with some of the largest security forces in the world, one of the largest democracies, and a powerful state is not able to control this violence? Why? When you ask this question, you will see that it is not the cookies alone that you are grappling with. You understand that? When our Mera Pipes disturb as they are, try to march to a place, you will have barbed wires, you will fire tear gases. And I was told and possibly some of the gases which normally people don't use. I don't know whether it is a fact, but I have heard and seen this information that people started vomiting much more than a normal gas. I don't know it is true or false. It needs to be asked. I understand that you need to avoid clashes. That's why you stop our Myra Pipes. I understand that. But please explain. When the other side comes and use machines to flatten the same ground, what is the Indian security forces doing then? Yes. And you said it is the set complicity and the Maitais have been using these paramilitary forces. This is what is told in Karan Thapa's interview that Maita is in cohorts with the security forces of the Indian state, including the paramilitary forces, are attacking Kuki. Just take the interview. All along, Maita is have been complaining that it is the security forces which comes and then burn our houses. This mistrust, instead of addressing this mistrust of their own civilian populations, you are threatening our Mayra Pibis by saying that it is not our weakness, it's humanity and so on. Is the Indian Army officers as a responsible institution must address the trust deficit that they face rather than threatening and throwing or cast as persons on our people and our imams. This should be very clear in our mind. So what I'm saying is do not blame the cookie as a whole, as a community. Blame those elites and those people who are playing this dirty politics to break up Manipur by putting the lives of the civilian at stake, both the Maitais and the non maitais Please keep in mind, second point, please remember that this inaction of the Indian state itself is an action that is involved in this violence that we face today. This is something that I want you to know. But last, not the less, Ask your politicians. When you have a rally in Imphal, I want to see these politicians locking hands with the civilians and civil society forces and work with the people. Not stay behind their security forces guarded houses.
come out. You have responsibility to explain the misinformation campaign. Do not leave the civilians to defend themselves and fight the, what, this dirty propaganda against our people. You as a responsible members and elected members must be with the people on the street. On the street. Face the media, explain the things, the lies have been told about the forest. For instance, they said, to declare a forest as a protected forest, you need to survey. But the Indian Forest Act clearly says you can even declare a forest as a protected before doing the survey. You can do it later. Like this, there have been a lot of lies about forests, about population has been done. Why is that you and I have been left alone to defend this propaganda? Why is not that our MLAs, our officers come up on the front and counter this propaganda. You are leaving the populations to arm and defend themselves. You must come out, please. Now the third point which I want to share. We are angry, I know. Sometimes even people like me get very angry. Sometimes I get provoked, despite knowing very well that these politics is not only about the civilian population in that state, whichever community they are. And I told you again here, you should be different from the others. If they lie, you don't lie. If they distribute fake pictures, do not produce fact pictures as a counterpart. Do not do that. Stick with your truth, stick with your goodwill, and fight it back. That is the third message. In English, they said you have to be assertive, but not aggressive. What is assertiveness? Standing up for oneself. If somebody tell lies about me, then I have to stand up myself and call a spade a spade. That is called being assertive. What is aggressive? Doing harm to the others. Spreading lies about them. About trying to hurt them. That's called being aggressive. You need to be assertive. And we have nothing to lose but our self-respect that has been destroyed by propaganda. The money pool that you and I love is sought to be broken up. This is not the first time. Ngayon bigil nupak the leiba it has been there for a long, long time. The government of India has never closed this chapter. During the negotiation with the Mizo Accord, it was kept open. Later we will discuss. I am talking about 40 years old. So therefore, please, as I said, assertive oi view, aduga aggressive oi bigano. Madugi atopa side of the coin. Anger say I'm live. Anger can consume you. You might lose. I'll tell you a lesson which is told to me by my coach. When I was playing Taekwondo, he said, you know, when your opponent is trying to provoke you and make you angry, the moment you fall into trap is worse than an upcha kick on your face. That's what he told me. I na saw ba horakanda aigi mai the tharak pa kick to. Adagi he na sati ba man ngon de yei ba horakani. The moment you get very angry with the provocation, so use your anger creatively. Assertively, not aggressively. I koi ki tana tana raga chingchal laga. I koi da taho raga lana na bata na ba shin ba malay. Masi hai hai da na ayin hai ba distinction cha maya maintain tau biyo. When you have been, I don't know, when push comes to shop, hai English ta. May te ronda roughly handu oga di. Chum na ilam ba da ki namzal la adi. You need to do what is required to do. I am not saying I am not Gandhi. When the push comes to shop, 
nang ato ham thoku do dum tau rakani madu aina thingu bu ya ba janate but as a community as an our orientation don't lie like them do not preach hatred like them do not be aggressive like them we have to be what we are aroi be the masi hai rak pugi marama malai when we fight a war it's a war against our existence it's a war against our self respect our dignity you know what has been going on for the last 3 months but the truth will come up it's already started newspaper started reporting one by one for after 3 months you can get to hear two sides of the stories it will be so stick to your truth ipai pusina ibiram ba larik lai su leram ba adugum la ba furuk ne koi we have so much treatise written texts on a range of issues from cosmology to medicines to marriages and rituals to politics that we call it puya and chronicles and so on remember please that we are that inheritor of that ipaipu we are the children of those forefathers one of the texts that left behind for us now which has been translated into english is called china roll how to fight war on an ethical principle no community can claim that kind of a heritage even when we fought wars with the britishers with the burmese with the khasis all of them we call it the chinese and all of them we have a rule much before this international covenants and geneva conventions and all of them came on the surface of the art we have a text called china roll how to fight back in an ethical manner please do not deny your forefathers by doing which is unacceptable to me sexual violence is one of the unacceptable things which is not part of the china roll is not prescribed by that it is not prescribed by international covenant and it is a hit against all the woman kinds we must not condone those things they will be using this as a tool to call you a rapist we don't call the entire indian as rapists who have blown up the vagina of monoroma did we claim that all indians did that did we do that no we have never done we have never called the all indian armies as rapists we only called some people and demanded that should be justice for that person please book those people whether they are security personnel or not now how dare they say the entire maitais are rapists What is this logic? Who are these so-called progressive forces in this country who are supporting and demonizing Maitais? Please stand up for yourself. You have nothing to lose. This insult and this attempt to disintegrate us. We will fight with the ethical parameters, the standards kept up by our forefathers. And I said again, please do not hit the entire cookie. Pick up, fight your war on an ethical ground. Call out these lies and half truths that they are preaching, and then we will defend. Let me not see no see channel. Let me not be shibu kayam kai with habuk no. Is it wrong to say that let's live in peace and harmony? You have two voices. The one who is saying that. Let's talk about it. Let's resolve this problem. Let's peace and harmony be there. One is saying, "No, we have nothing to do with these are rapists. These are these. These are that. These are the two voices. Two voices. The one who want to defend a united Manipur with all its diverse cultures and communities in peace and harmony. That is a voice, and we are the flag bearer of that voice. That's a historical responsibility that we have." and we should not forget it and i can tell you in the war in 480 there's a famous war in western history that is called the battle of thermopylae where 300 spartan resisted thousands and thousands of persian soldiers under the leadership of king leonidas and when they fight they knew that they are going to die but they fought it not for their only today but for their tomorrow so the war that we face today is not for today alone but for tomorrow for our generations to come 
not only of the Maitais, but all those Kognet people who love and cherish Manipur as their motherland, we are taking the lead in that fight for a unit, united Manipur with peace and harmony. We made mistakes, we will correct. But we will not accept anybody who paint us as demons by lies and half-truths. We will not stand anybody who's tried to break up the peaceful Manipur. We will stand and fight till the last man and woman. Keep that thing in your mind. Never ever surrender. You remember that Pauna Prasabasi said in Chaitarul Kumbhava, that's the spirit. That's Pauna Prasabasi for you. When you go to Kongjom and take selfies and snap, bear that line which is written on the plaque in your heart and mind. That inscription will last long, far more than your selfies. Remember this, then we will fight, not with hatred, but with a purpose to defend the united Manipur and for peace. Long live! Manipur! Imali Pagna! Thank you all.